Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac. So let's face it, the last run, a little bit of wasted potential. We used that uh, spider mod mod, not to be overly redundant, I guess, uh, that made it so all items could show up in any item room, if that makes sense. So the item pools were like completely universal. We could find, you know, deals with the devil in the item room. We could find deals with the angel in the shop. We could find secret room items in the library, etc., etc. Spoilers! No, not really spoilers, but we're doing exactly the same thing here. So even though I didn't reroll Sad Onion, and Sad Onion is an item that can, uh, you know, just normally appear in item rooms anyway, we're gonna do a redo of that one, because I'm feeling a little bit better, and I, I wanna put on a little bit of a better show, because I was a little bit under the weather, I'm still a little bit under the weather, but I was a little bit under the weather in that last episode, and I don't think I performed necessarily to the best of my ability, so I'm hoping that at the very least, uh, we can kind of show off this mod a little bit more here, and why I think, or ex explain or demonstrate why I think it's such a, a cool mod that seems at first to just be like a very minor uh, change to the the kind of landscape, but actually ends up having major repercussions. But we'll see that as we go. Uh, well, one thing I think that is very interesting about it is that it completely subverts expectations because it like makes you normally when I fight a boss and I'm Isaac and I'm on the first floor, what is my realistic best case scenario? And it's not necessarily that it's a staggeringly good item or a good upgrade, but it's HP upgrades, right? Whenever I fight an early boss, I'm always like HP upgrades would be the best. Tears would be okay. Damage like a pentagram would be amazing, but it's so rare to show up. Now, as you can see, things are a little bit different. For example, holy shit, free packed. We're not going to take this right away, and I'm going to explain why, and you're probably going to think I'm an idiot as a result. But uh, we're not going to reroll it. We're not rerolling the pack. That is a staggeringly good item to show up right away. But I know that there is a self sacrifice room back here. So why don't we at least try to get. No, okay. That would have killed us if we'd done it any further. I wanted to at least try to get um, something to spawn as a result there. But anyway, very, very good first floor. Also, especially nice because of the, you know, it gives me the indication that the mod is actually working. Which, you know, Spider Mod doesn't necessarily tell me that. The Spider Mod is a fantastic program, by the way. This is not me issuing like a backhanded compliment or something, being like, yo, Spider Mod's great, but this thing about it sucks. It's just like I'm always a little bit wary that um, maybe I fucked it up somehow. But anyway, uh, so far so good. So yeah, we're going to continue onwards with this. Obviously, picking up the pact on the first boss room uh, is pretty much exactly what I was talking about. You know, normally you'd be hoping for an HP upgrade. This has certainly proven to be a little bit more uh, probably useful for us than an HP upgrade hopefully at least uh, one thing that is worth noting here oh I fucking hate early Gertie Jr. fights well I hate Gertie Jr. fights always but early especially um, one thing that's worth noting here and I mentioned this in the last episode but I understand that a lot of you maybe uh, didn't see that last episode um, deal with the devil rooms now are far from being among the most valuable rooms in the game in fact in my opinion deal with the devil rooms might be among the least valuable rooms in the game now because you walk in here and you see like okay we've got dead sea scrolls for one heart and a battery for three spirit hearts but you know the battery is a pretty good item I don't have the spirit hearts to back it up I wish or to pick it up I wish I did um, but mostly the value is lost because now we have to trade health for items that maybe aren't that good whereas normally we trade health for items that are usually pretty damn good uh, unfortunately, that's not going to be the case here. So I'm definitely going to reroll uh, White Pony. Okay, so the reroll does work. Why can I fly? That's like a weird dead pony uh, effect. And I'm totally going to pick up uh, HP upgrade. Yeah, okay, we can't fly forever. That makes sense. I'm totally going to pick up uh, HP upgrade plus uh, damage upgrade. Obviously, this happened to us on the last episode, and uh, I ended up really desperately needing a speed upgrade. But in any case, Fat Odd Mushroom is a, a great pickup, especially in conjunction with Sad Onion, I think. Uh, now, if we could just find some way to increase our speed a little bit, I would be a very happy camper. So the other, the good thing about Devil Rooms, and the reason they might be valuable uh, still, even with this kind of revised terms of success, or, you know, the, the things that make the, the room adequate, uh, is that by going into a devil room and leaving it, you actually qualify uh, more highly for a deal with the angel room, so that, that might be one trade-off that actually still works out in its favor. Please tell me that we are able to get a key at some point here. There's no point in having, you know, universal item pools if I actually can't go to the item rooms, or the shop for that matter, but um, absolutely, no matter whether uh, I lose this heart or not, we will for sure be going to the curse room, because there's uh, potentially two items of any kind in there. I'm not sure if curse rooms are more or less valuable than they were before. Uh, and I am going to try to, uh, this is superstition, potentially, I've never heard any concrete information, I think, about whether or not this actually works, but we're going to try to kill the blue one last, which usually gives us a better chance of attack fly in my mind. Oh, we got a key, at least. So we'll use this to go to the item room, for sure, and hopefully we don't need to re-roll it, because we won't have a re-roll, and it's, you know, infestation, that's fine, could be better, could be worse. Um, but yeah, I always think that that gives me an increased chance of getting, uh, the attack fly, which in this case could have been any item, at least after a reroll it could have been any item, but we couldn't reroll it anyway, but I like attack fly to begin with, so no big deal. If we're gonna lose this spirit heart anyway, we might as well just walk in with it, it doesn't make a functional difference, I think. There's the secret room. 
Well, yeah, for one bomb, we can get the secret room guaranteed here. This kind of sucks, actually. Uh, I'm not even going to use teleport. If only we had another reroll, that would be awesome. But, oh well. We at least found teleport, and it won't show up again. That's fine. And we should be able to leave here, and good to go. Yeah, nothing else really that we want. Uh, more keys would be amazing, but so far it's very difficult for me to complain about the way that this run has gone so far. Uh, except for the, the the lack of key situation. Apart from that, everything is coming up roses here. Uh, we already have two damage upgrades, one health upgrade. Uh, infestation is not necessarily a game changer, but sometimes it can make a difference. And uh, the pact in particular is a, uh, a huge gain for us, if that makes sense. But we're still, um, you know, we got a long way to go before this run ends. And, uh, you know, I would absolutely love to be able to pick up at least a couple of keys per floor so I can make some good stuff happen. Unfortunately, I'm, maybe not unfortunately, but I am kind of hamstrung into, uh, playing Judgment here. And he gave me the compass, and this is actually something that I normally talk to, or in, this is like the third time I've recorded a video like this if you include the head to in green. But, um, the, um, the green and zen. I don't know why, I, like, it, it just rolls off the tongue to say green and zen, but sometimes I just say green. Anyway, um, fortune teller. Yeah, we'll play it. Um, I realize the money is important right now, but uh, this does allow me to possibly get a good trinket, which would be awesome. And we can't go to our item room yet anyway. There's another spirit heart. Uh, yeah, there's a curse room, so I probably shouldn't have even picked that up yet. But anyway, we found it. I'm going to play it as much as I can because I really would love a trinket. In any case, um, what I was going to say is that the compass, it shows up so rarely on these uh, universal item pool runs because, you know, normally in the shop you have like a 1 in 8 chance or something like that of getting it. Uh, whereas now, it's now like a 1 in 150 chance. Uh, mind you, it is stretched across all available rooms now. There we go. There's our good trinket. Uh, and we'll probably use the tower card here just to blow up the fortune teller and see if we get anything. We got a little bit of money back. Not a huge deal. But the cancer trinket is obviously huge for us. Let's take this pill. Maybe it's bombs or key. Tears up. That's also great, actually. But, uh, unfortunately, we are unable to go to the item room or the shop. But so be it. Um, we still got cancer, which is a great trinket here. Anyway, I'm, long story short, I'm, I'm thrilled to have the compass, which is an, uh, a trinket that, uh, or not a trinket, but an item that I think is uh, much rarer uh, to appear on uh, this kind of challenge run than any other, like a vanilla run at least. But I'm glad to have it, for sure. So that's that's why I didn't reroll it at all when we got it from Judgment. So yes, we will go to our curse room, even though it'll cost us our spirit hearts. That's just two live bombs. That's fine. Uh, offensively, incredibly strong. Could use uh, a little bit of value defensively. So I guess the way that you do this is you pick up Necronomicon, use it to clear one wave, pick up the D6, and then uh, re-roll the shit out of it. Oh, Transcendence! Or is this... This is Transcendence, right? Or is this just the noose? I think it's Transcendence. Anyway, um, long story short, doesn't matter what your name is, The Rock, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, uh, 2013 Mark Twain, uh, Michael Scott, uh, this is Passive Ability to Fly, which is a, a no-brainer pickup for sure. It's funny, in a recent episode, recent-ish anyway, I mentioned, I was like, you know, I, I think what happened is I picked up Spirit of the Night and then Transcendence showed up again later, and I was like, well, you can forgive me for picking up Spirit of the Night because it's not like you could have banked on a, a passive uh, ability to fly showing up later anyway. And then Biznap, after he watched the episode, messaged me. He's like, it's funny you should mention that I never pay for the ability to fly or very rarely pay for the ability to fly anymore uh, because passive flying items are so prevalent. And I'm like, oh, okay. Turns out I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Okay, we have, um, well, first things first, I should probably just fly over, um, all of these areas that I went to before, just to see if there's any additional resources that I can pick up. Well, alright, probably not the best time to pick that up, but that's okay. Uh, and what's better, you know, this is a, an important time to think about things. We could go to the item room, and that might seem like the best option, but actually, because of the item pools, it's way better to go to the library. And we see in here that we've got the skeleton key. Huge pickup. Now, that solves all of our keys, key problems for the rest of the game, and the reason the library is better, of course, is that we now have uh, two item pedestals instead of just merely the one, so that's fantastic. Now, the item room and the library... Uh, that's a Polaroid. We'll want that later, obviously. But now the item room and the library are basically the same value. Uh, so we'll go pop uh, the shop and the item room and the library open. And uh, we'll already pop the library open. And we'll see which one is most worthy of a reroll. Probably Book of Belial, because I want to keep the D6, but we'll see. Um, that's Monstrous Tooth. So now, the, which one's most worthy of a reroll? Whichever one's closer. Let's see what we've got in our shop. There is uh, an HP upgrade for 15 cents. I would buy that. Uh, absolutely, I would. Uh, was there a bomb for 5 cents as well? Is that what we Okay, so. Hmm. I doubt I'm going to get enough money on this floor. There's way too many opportunities or locations for the secret room, but we'll see, I guess. Um, so what do I, what do I re-roll here? It's a tough question. 
to some extent. I don't think it matters too much whether we reroll the library or the uh, the item room. So I'm just gonna go to the item room because it's actually I think they were like exactly the same distance away, weirdly enough. And we get ten extra bombs. So you know what? Sure, we'll we'll take that. Maybe that, I mean, we're, we're probably not going to get another reroll anyway, so maybe this is the right decision. And then we'll see if we can get enough money to buy that HP upgrade, which would uh, help me out a lot. It's still a theoretical possibility that I would like to buy some, uh, or, you know, use health to bargain some items from the deal with the devil. Maybe not a uh, super likely. Oh, now we're only two cents away. Maybe not super likely because, you know, we. I'd rather just get items for free if possible, but it's not necessarily out of the question either because, you know, maybe there's an item that shows up in there that I really want that's worth two hearts. If a mom's knife still so shows up on the deal with the devil, yeah, that could be worth a heart or two, absolutely, even if there is a chance that it shows up for free later. So, two more cents would be awesome. You know, not missing out on that HP upgrade, not the end of the world, because obviously we have shops remaining for the rest of the uh, the rest of the run here. Minus the ones that are going to have greed, but that's fine. Our damage is so good for being on the third floor. Now, we even if we get a reroll, it, it doesn't matter. We're not going to get a reroll. This will give us a cube of meat 100%. May get a deal with the angel. I kind of thought for a second that we did. We can't. We could buy bombs if we wanted to, but we can't really do too much else. Do I want to take a book of Belial? No, so it's down to the next floor. That floor still turned out to be uh, really amazing for us, by the way. But, hey, we, we found a second library. I don't want to take these pills just in case their bombs are key. At the very least, we should open up one of these rooms first. Uh, not to mention they could be just health downgrades and etc, etc. Um, that's a weird choice. Uh, we have Harlequin Baby and Brass Knuckles. Or Tough Love, I should say. But it, the picture is of Brass Knuckles. Um, I'll probably take Brass Knuckles just because... Or Tough Love, because I think it's a funny item. Harlequin Baby, we can probably reroll into something better, but uh, I really like getting Tough Love whenever possible. It makes uh, some of our shots do a ton of damage. So we'll reroll Harlequin Baby. It's a speed upgrade. I know it's not the best item in the game, but I'm going to take it because we already had um, that speed downgrade from Odd Mushroom. First pill, tears down. Second pill, speed down. All right, well, on the bright side, I'm very thankful that I did take that speed upgrade, so not much has changed as a result of that. And we got some information on what kind of shitty pills are available on this run, but my god, I would have preferred that to go better. Still, um, not the end of the world. A tears downgrade doesn't affect us too much. As you can see, we're still firing like crazy here. That's Lord of the Pit. Um, so, obviously, we're going to use that as a reroll pedestal as soon as we get uh, one available and see what's going on in our other rooms. Other valuable piece of information. We found the secret room very easily. And we will pick up Guppy's tail. Obviously, synergizes fantastically with the uh, skeleton key. So, uh, item room and shop are the next things on our docket here to check out. And I guess then it's just straight to the boss room because we don't have much else... Uh, holding us here on this floor. No arcades, unfortunately. It would be nice to be able to go to them because you never know what you're going to get on those rerolls from the Blood Bank, I suppose. But for now, again, still can't really complain about how this run is going, even though this floor has been of kind of dubious quality so far. Okay, two golden keys to get. Yeah, uh, some more bombs, which is useful, uh, as well as the uh, uh, one key to kind of compensate for it. Kind of want to use a bomb here, but it shouldn't be necessary as long as I get a decent number of teeth kind of out there. Uh, not to mention, you know, my shots do decent damage just all, all on their own. But, uh, you know, the, the faster we can finish this off, the better, of course. These The universal item room pools, or item pools, I should say, always lead to, like, some of the most weird runs uh, with respect to our tier effects, which I like a lot. And you shouldn't say always. This is, again, still fairly early on in my sample, but still. Uh, it's a one-up. Not Magic Mushroom. Magic Mushroom is red. I, I honestly think the one-up is not that good. But it could be useful, whereas Lord of the Pit is already redundant. So I'm going to use my reroll on uh, Lord of the Pit instead first. And we get uh, Max's Head, which is a beautiful item, actually. Huge damage upgrade, uh, and we'll make our way down to the boss. Now it's a question of, you know, the 1-Up could end up saving our life. Do I think it's an objectively good item? Yeah. Um, but, it, but it could be better. And really... You know, if I die with the 1-Up and respawn, is there much of a chance of my success? There's certain, like, once you die, you probably have a substantially lower chance of success on your second run than you did on your the one where you died. So, it wouldn't be the end of the world if we ended up taking it, of course, but I, I would prefer to get something objectively better, but if I reroll it, I could just end up getting a shitty spacebar item, so... Um, it, it's a constant trade-off, you know? I don't, I don't know what, we, what we're gonna get. Maybe we will just take the 1-Up. The one thing that's for sure here is that this is gonna be our last reroll available on this floor. Unless we end up... Nope, no matter what. Um, so we might as well fight our boss and see what we've got going on here, just in case there's a an objectively better option for a reroll. Like if we get, um, you know, Book of Revelations here or something like that. Man, our damage is incredible in spite of that tears downgrade that I got a little bit earlier. So there is the mark. I will absolutely pick that up. We actually got another deal with the angel. Inside this deal with the angel, chocolate milk and uh, remote detonator. So the mark, huge pickup. Love it a lot. 
Uh, not gonna pick up chocolate milk or remote detonator, obviously. But and I could have rerolled those, but again, I don't necessarily want to lose the health uh, to take those deals with the devil, if possible. I really think that this rebalances the game in a weird way. I think it makes uh, like the universal item pools situation or mod, I should say, rebalances it in a weird way. HP upgrades seem much much harder to come by, uh, but like damage increases seem way more likely. So there's a trade-off here. Sure, would I rather have Demon Baby or the One Up? Demon Baby is probably a little bit better, but I consider it uh, a little bit of a wash. Another good floor from a damage perspective. From a health standpoint, we're in a little bit of a tough spot. But, you know, I'm psyched to have gotten... Uh, what, we've got a lot of good items there. Tough Love can allow us to do a ton of damage. The speed upgrade at least made it so we didn't get a, a huge speed downgrade. Uh, Guppy's Tail, I think I already mentioned. Demon Baby's fine. Uh, the mark is beautiful, and that's pretty good. I'm okay with that. Plus, we fought Greed, so we probably won't fight him on the next floor. Still could use some extra HP, but so be it. This would be a really great run to become Guppy on, also. We're, we're only a third of the way there, but uh, those flies would end up doing so, so much damage. Uh, and our teeth already are doing crazy good damage, so... I, I like this run so far. At the very least, it's an interesting run from a, uh, a damage standpoint or an offensive standpoint. So, we're gonna find uh, two of our very major rooms pretty quickly here. Just don't run at me. Just die. Thank you. Um, let's go item room first and then boss room after that. We found Rusted Key, which has been demonstrated to have zero effect. Uh, Sack of Pennies, I think, is real bad. Polyphemus, though, is game-changing. So, obviously, we have to go with that. Our rate of fire is gonna suffer a little bit as a result, but uh, absolutely worth it. And we might as well go f n not go fight our boss right away, and the reason why... Oh, I really thought maybe we'd be one-shotting this guy, but um, the reason we're not fighting our boss right away is just in case we run into a deal with the Angel, I would rather have a reroll available, just in case. Because, um, you know, if we get a shitty item from that deal with the Angel, I'd like to reroll it once. We can always reroll our boss room whenever we want, but... Uh, you know, the, the deal with the Angel is a little bit more timely, so... Or time-sensitive, I should say. Okay, that was a very good tooth. As you can see, those are doing some crazy amounts of damage now. Uh, the boss, whatever boss we end up fighting doesn't worry me too much, unless it is Mask of Infamy, in which case, you know, fuck that. But uh, we'll, we'll survive, almost certainly. It's the bloat. This was the douchebag who ended my last run, even though I had a, a decent amount of health going in. I think. I, maybe I only had one heart, but <laughs> decent, you know, one man's decent is another man's uh, apocalyptic. Uh, okay, just... One more shot will do it. There we go. No deal with the angel. We got to forget me now, which uh, obviously I'm not going to use. Even though it could be fun, I want to keep the D6. We got the dollar. I don't think it's worth it yet. Um, and by yet, I mean probably ever. If we got money equals power, that would be a huge pickup. But uh, as we do not have money equals power, then uh, no big deal, I would say. Passing up the dollar. We already have 23 cents, which should be enough to buy at least one item from the shops. And that's really, you know, the maximum we are probably going to be looking at here. We are going to get another D6 roll available. I'm not going to min-max too much, I think. I'm just going to make my way to the shop first, and then we'll see. Oh, I should not have taken damage there. Um, but yeah, I'll make my way to the shop down here, and, and we'll see if there's uh, something in this item room that maybe I... Or something in the curse room that I value, but whatever. This is also not the right way to go to the shop. This is the right way to go to the curse room, which I neglected to mention. What do you got for me? Spirit heart and two bombs. All right, so we, we got a spirit heart back, basically. And our pill is tears down, so we're probably not going to take that. Our chest, normally I probably would not invest too much time into going into this, but because we're so offensively strong right now, um, like I'm offended by how strong we are, um, it's like a no-brainer, right? We're going to clear out this room in basically as many hits as it takes. Um, well, that's probably true no matter what, but okay. If I can get, just hit the Zambi, it's, it's GG for him. Demon Baby also doing a little bit of work on, on this uh, initiative. That tooth is going to get the job done for sure. Um, you know, rather than backtracking to the boss room and then re-rolling it, we might as well just go to the shop first. I don't think we're going to have enough to get a re-roll anyway, so why not just go through with it, right? I may look for the secret room nonetheless because uh, there's a chance it has an item on it, and if it has an item on it, that's good news. So this is not, you know, another good example of, of do as I say, not as I do. I'm being very lazy here with my backtracking, but so be it. Our shop contains the blood bag, which is god awful. Um, this definitely warrants a reroll more than the dollar does. Mr. Boom, also like real bad. But uh, is there anything I could want in there uh, that is not an item? The pill? Let's see what the pill is. Okay, well then we want the heart, don't we? <laughs> and now we'll just leave. Why did I pick up the pill again before we left? That is silly. Um, 
Sure, so that's probably going to do it for this floor. We might as well look around, see if there's an item room available. The item room contains Guppy's paw. That's huge. Okay. Um. I. Oh, okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go for broke early on Guppy's paw. Because I can't take this and the D6 with me, and I obviously want to have the D6. We haven't gotten very many HP upgrades over the course of this run, so I don't feel bad about this. And we, of course, had to pick up Guppy's Paw just to give us a better chance of getting, uh, or becoming Guppy at some point. So I don't feel too bad about this, but it could be a little scary. I went back and bought that Spirit Heart just to hedge my bets a little bit. I, I think we'll be fine for at least the interim period, but we'll see. Uh, remember, we do have the compass, so I'm, I'm jazzed about that. We are going to end up getting rid of cancer for the Polaroid, which is good, although it will inhibit our rate of fire a little bit, but that permanent Polaroid invincibility is going to be awesome. Not least of which because it'll allow me to... Um, I might as well pick it up, right? Not least of which because it will allow me to... Um, hurt myself, and... Well, I, not on purpose, but if I hurt myself, then... Uh, you know, I can hurt myself multiple times, and uh, infestation will allow me to get a ton of flies as a result of that. I think, anyway. Um, so this should be interesting. Polaroid, obviously, like a, an extremely valuable trinket uh, in, in situations like this. To the point where people are talking about, like, in Rebirth, Polaroid should just be, like, removed or nerfed in some way. Uh, even without the, like, necessary -ness of or necessity, I guess is the right way to say that, uh, of having to take it down to the next floor just to succeed and get to the chest. People are like, you should really just take it out of the game because it makes permanent Polaroid invincibility so strong. Anyway, um, or because permanent Polaroid invincibility is so strong, but I digress. Mom's pad, real bad item. So, we'll put that back down and re-roll it into a bomb bag, which is not awful, but not nearly as good as I would want it to be. We have a library on this floor, so that's going to get a lot of our re-roll attention as well. And, of course, the shop is right here. Might end up fighting greed. Hopefully not, but uh, you never know. We'll see. One thing's for sure, we're going to have a, a much more clear picture of how this floor looks by the time we have our next re-roll available. Inside of our shop, we have uh, greed. Sure. I, I really thought we might one-shot him with that tooth. It looks like we came really close. No item, but at least a little bit of an extra charge, and... Oh my god, are you serious? Um, sure, well, we got one more room coming here. Oh, it's a slot machine, so we will actually be completely, um... Sure, fantastic. Um, we'll, we'll have our, our pick of the litter, basically, when it comes to where to use our reroll. Almost certainly, the, the best place to use our reroll is going to be on the library, but, um... It's only the best if there's two items that we don't want. And there's not. We we probably want to pick up both of these items, actually. Horror Babylon makes us instantly a lot stronger and a little bit faster as well, which is important uh, because we, we did go balls to the wall with that permanent Polaroid invincibility. And uh, Lump of Coal, just basically damage increase. Fine by me. Uh, this is shaping up to be real nice, actually. If you're going to go permanent uh, Polaroid invincibility and just run entirely on Spirit Hearts, this is the way you want to do it, I guess. Uh, we'll reroll the bomb bag, and we get stem cells, which obviously we can't pick up. It's a shot speed upgrade in addition to an HP upgrade. Shot speed doesn't really bother me too much at this point, but the uh, HP is a no-go, obviously. Because, oh god, uh, because, obviously, uh, that would take us out of permanent Polaroid invincibility and Horror Babylon. It's basically an objective downgrade at this point. Although, if we still had Guppy's Paw, it would have been three extra spirit hearts. But, we can hope for better from our items than just three spirit hearts, I hope. And we've got a little bit of time left on this floor to accomplish whatever we desire. So our boss room is going to be available right here. We're not going to go to it right away, but I will probably go to it. Ooh, careful. We'll probably go to it as soon as I uh, check out this item room. and uh, As soon as I get a good item from the item room, I should say. Or when we run out of rerolls, whichever comes first. Now, obviously, I would love to get um, nine lives. Kind of scares the shit out of me, but I would love to get Guppy's head. That is remote detonator, which we'll pick up and put back down. Um, cool. More D6s uh, incoming, then. Like, I really could not have asked for anything better from a damage perspective. We got, for free, we got Pact, Mark, Horror of Babylon, uh, Max's Head. There's more that I'm missing, I'm sure. Sad Onion, not technically a, a damage increase, but a, a rate of fire increase, which is functionally very similar. Um, we'll just chill out here for a second. Um... What else did we get that gave us increased damage? But any long story short, we got an insane amount of damage upgrades here. Polyphemus, I don't even know if I mentioned that one, but if I didn't, then I should have. Probably at the top of the list. Um, a little more health never hurt anybody, but uh, sadly that's not going to be possible. So, um, did we know what item? Yeah, it was Remote Detonator in there, so I'm not going to be able to get another reroll. We might as well just go fight the boss right away. 
And thus begins the kind of boss rush portion of the game, and I'm very interested to see how this shakes out for us. We're going to be fighting Mom. I expect this to be exceptionally easy, even though it is Blue Mom, who is, uh, you know, one of the harder versions. As you can see, we take off, like, 5% of Mom's health per standard tier hit. I can't even imagine how much we take off per tooth. One-shotting basically every enemy, and we get homing bombs, which is not bad, but I'm going to re-roll it just because we could get something better. Hourglass. We could get something worse as well. Uh, I think th there's a heavy incentive with this mod to, if you get a passive item, just go with it, man, because the odds of you getting a, a shitty active item are pretty high as well. Um, but still, you know, I'm not going to lose any sleep over not having homing bombs, so we should be fine. And uh, having the compass, obviously an extraordinary benefit for me here. This floor is proving pretty easy so far, despite the limited amount of damage that I've taken. What do I want now? Relic? Yeah. Relic Miter. Something along the, those lines would be... Uh, the big boost for me, but I, I think this is a run where I'm capable of beating it without having either of those Just based on the raw damage that I have which is pretty incredible right now And we're fighting out of the bloat again much to my surprise slash chagrin uh, But he'll be dead in like one permanent polar invincibility awesome halo of flies. I'll pick it up Might seem reroll worthy, but being able to block those shots from Isaac and blue baby uh, is really really uh, useful so um, I'm just walking to this guy kill him the old-fashioned way and, you know, there, there's probably something to be said for gambling on the fortune teller if there is one, which there is. Uh, and there's probably something to be said for going to the curse room as well. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll, I want to break even on this floor. So I will, uh, once I get one spirit heart, ooh, we can take that wheel of fortune down to the shop and maybe make it worthwhile. Once I get one spirit heart, please don't get the tick. Uh, I will use that to go to the curse room and then we'll leave. So I don't want to gamble here forever, but uh, so be it. Well, might as well spend some money on this guy as well. Maybe he'll drop a spirit heart. You never know. I mean, maybe he actually does not have the opportunity to drop a spirit heart. Are you kidding me? Like, seriously. Um, we can also trade one spirit heart to gamble the shit out of this blood bank, which actually seem seems kind of funny to me, so why don't we take that opportunity? We'll also generate a lot of flies as a result. Okay, well, we got money that we can't really use, and that was not worth the spirit heart. Um... Okay, Mom's Pearl is uh, a trinket that we can't use, so no more necessary uh, thought given to that, I suppose. Seriously, like, just give me one spirit heart and we can call this a day. That is the tick. So that is our cue to leave, unfortunately, uh, because I really can't afford to pick up the tick and ruin this run completely. Now, of course, the tick is, like, right next to the fucking door. Come on, don't do this to me. There we go. Go okay, we're fine. That was real scary. Um, I don't really think that I need the money, to be honest with you. I will still sacrifice the spirit heart to go through this. We just got spiders. So be it. Can't even see my health. Um, still feeling pretty good. So those were risks that I, um, you know, I, I wouldn't necessarily say I shouldn't have taken those risks. It just didn't work out in my favor, but it could have easily worked out very much in my favor. Two of spades gives us 99 keys again, as if that was uh, ever an issue. Be cool here. Ended up getting a nice little chain reaction, and uh, we'll go fight Mom's Heart, which is a fight that I expect is going to be extraordinarily easy. One shot, we'll take out each of these lasers. We got 29 bombs. Uh, I really do not see much stopping me here. Do you see the damage that just normal tears are doing to uh, Mom's Heart here? Can you imagine how much a tooth would actually do if I could manage to make it hit? So Zambies are going to go down, and then it should be uh, permanently throwing bombs, so I'm just going to hang back a little bit. Okay, so this is basically over. One tooth took off like 80% of the health there. Or 80% of the remaining health, not to cause any confusion. All right, remember those deals deals with the angel room can't contain uh, actual deal with the, the angel items. They just contain a, a door that takes you down to shoal. Telepathy for dummies. One of the most garbage items, but I'm very happy to have encountered a reroll pedestal. But allows, that's weird. I would not have expected Monstro's tooth to show up again, considering that we had already... Maybe we didn't pick it up. Maybe that's my problem. If we had picked it up and then put it back down, it shouldn't be able to show up, but uh, maybe I didn't pick it up. Maybe I just kind of let it go because I was worried about, uh, well, not worried, but annoyed by the amount of backtracking it would have taken. That sounds like something I could foreseeably have done. Losing a little bit of health here, Spirit Heart would be amazing, but sure, more bombs. I still want to go back and, and reroll um, Telepathy for Dummies, but it, it actually might not be necessary because maybe we want to save those rerolls for uh, the chest instead. Let's see. All right, so here we got nothing. Uh, Abel. It's like so not worth fighting or rerolling this. I'm, I'm seriously, I'm just gonna bum rush the boss, finish him off, and then we'll uh, 
move down to the next floor. So health is still going to be an issue here. As you can see, those teeth do so much damage. Luck upgrades would be like crazy good right now. Um, but one HP, or sorry, one uh, Polaroid invincibility is enough for me to take down like a third of his health. So that should give you uh, basically like a, a mathematical likely maximum of the amount of damage I am likely to take over the course of this fight. The remainder of this fight, I should say. Now if I take one damage, I'll be disappointed. But that's still well within the, the realm of reason based on the uh, beams of light from heaven. Okay, so it's down to the next floor. The other reason I didn't want to use a reroll right away, we might need these items straight away, but also I can just put down the fortune teller. It was supposed to be a, a slot machine and blow it up right away, so we actually have more items to choose from. So the relic is big, but a little too little too late. Um, which of these do we want to reroll? Daddy long legs, pretty good. So I'll pick that up. I'll pick up the relic because it could end up saving my life. Fortune Teller, pretty good as well. Um, it allows us to see where we're going and gives us a tarot card. And we get Temperance as well, which is... I, if I put down Temperance and then blow it up, do I get an item out of that as well? No. But all of these are going to be re-rolled. Lifesteal is useless. Anarchist Cookbook, um, not totally useless, but very bad. And we'll re-roll them all. HP Upgrade, Chocolate Milk, Razor Blade. Not uh, the fondest of those items. Razor Blade could actually end up being like really useful, but I, I never know how to use it effectively. Although I hear that it is uh, amazing when you have permanent Polaroid invincibility. Who knows? And maybe it would like really scale well with um, with infestation. But whatever. We're mostly trying just to not rock the boat too much at this point, so I don't make any mistakes that actually end up costing me the run. Triple Loki shouldn't be as hard as I'm making it out to be here. We did take some fairly bad damage, ill-advised at least. Uh, and we can move on. If I get a couple of spirit hearts from the relic, I'm pretty sure that this run is not possible for us to lose. Well, not not possible is not the right way to put it. Not likely for us to lose. The real I, I almost rerolled Daddy Long Legs, and the reason for that is, of course, that um, unfortunately Daddy Long Legs on the Blue Baby fight will only work once. But on all of these other rooms, that was really stupid. Of me. On all of these other rooms, it's going to be so valuable that uh, I think it was worth taking just to ensure that we have a better chance of even getting to that blue baby room. So we have the quarter, the d20, which we'll use to reroll this heart into a spirit heart, hopefully. A pill, which could do anything. Please not HP upgrade. Bad trip. Not very good for us. Um, everything else there is useless, obviously. We'll get one more reroll before the boss fight. Hopefully we manage to make something uh, productive happen as a result. Or something that could possibly be seen as productive, at least. Alright, famine and death. This is not famine, this is pestilence, pestilence and death. Uh, I won't be writing any of that into my Christmas carols, but it's a lyric nonetheless. And soon, death will enter that like permanent zombie state, and we should basically be good to go. Oh, I walked right into it and somehow didn't get hit. Thank you, based daddy long legs. Just keep it up here a little bit. And uh, I'm wary about hitting it because the knockback is, as you can see, absolutely absurd. But we've killed it now, so no real problem. It's probably one of the easiest rooms we could fight at this point, which means that uh, in all likelihood I will end up taking some seriously stupid damage. Daddy long legs helping me out a little bit. Okay, demon baby almost got me to take damage from that uh, that bomb fly there. We got a spirit heart via, not via the relic, so we actually got two there. As well as the shears, so the shears is one of those items that is, is not particularly fantastic from a, you know, use it for the whole game standpoint. But to just use it uh, on the final boss, it's certainly more valuable on the boss fight room than uh, the D6 is, so we'll probably end up doing that. So we have we have a reroll worthy room, and then we have a, an item that's worth taking with us uh, into that final room, I would say. Should get a tarot card from Super Sloth. We actually got uh, poison bombs. Which are not particular. Okay, well now we have two reroll pedestals right here. Um, I don't know. Let's reroll these just so I don't backtrack. The wafer is crazy good, obviously. Um, at this point, might as well pick up the shears because we're about to finish this run, and I'm pretty sure that there is uh, basically no way that we end up losing this at this point with the amount of health that we have. So this is an exciting run. We got a, we got a lot of really good items, and uh, I had a really good time with the uh, weird things that we picked up along the way. Maybe some missed potential with some of these rerolls, but uh, so be it. Um, this is basically over as is. Man, I can't believe I got the wafer at the end as well. Like Some of the most overpowered and rare to show up items in the game here, although obviously still no sacred heart. So that is going to be the death of Blue Baby. We only got hit once. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure to show your support by clicking the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe to see more Isaac. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode, and I will see you next time.